Hey, hey, everybody. It's T back here with another video. Listen, welcome to my new subscribers and new followers. Hey, y'all, welcome. Welcome back to another video to my tribe at large. Welcome back, y'all. Thank you all so much for being here with me. Listen, y'all, I always want to mention our Thursday night live streams. We go live every Thursday night on the channel at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And y'all know the goal of the day is 1.2K plus. Us. Okay, that's it. 1.2K plus every time we drop a video, 1.2K plus. Thank you all so much for hitting that like button for me. And I appreciate you all help this information spread throughout the algorithm. So let's jump into the topic of this video, okay? We're gonna hop right to it, all right? So this will scar narcissists forever. So basically, you know, their revenge, you know, the revenge on the narcissist has already begun. It really has. And, you know, one thing that we have to understand about when you think about, when you think about revenge on a person, okay, or, you know, you think about a person basically getting back what they put out into the, the atmosphere, the stratosphere, the universe, whatever you want to call it, okay, you got to think about the inner workings. I'm going to go a little deep right here. You got to think about the inner workings of this individual. Okay. What are the things that make these ducks tick? You know, what is it that make them tick? What is it that, that they are masters? They seem to be masters at. You see what I'm saying? And when you see, when you think about that, okay. And then you think about them having something inflicted upon them that takes them out of the com their comfort zone or it 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 basically defies their mastery of whatever it is that they feel like they're masters of. Listen, that is what you call revenge, okay? That is what you call revenge. So when you're taking a person out of their comfort zone, when you are taking a person like this, you know, these birds right here, you taking them out of that place where they have complete mastery and total control over something. Mm -mm. That's how you get them. That's how you get them. See, and this is why, this is why this right here, what I'm about to tell you is it, it will, it will basically live in, in the, uh, in the deep, recessed places of their minds for the rest of their lives and you know what in a sense it scars them for the rest of their life you know and because and let me put this term out here because i was thinking about it last night and this term just dropped in my spirit see narcissists have demonic memories okay demonic i said it you heard it right here first a demonic memory why do i call it a demonic memory because they don't forget anything now they can have selective amnesia, but wait, you let something come up that you've done. Oh, they can remember that thing back when you were, uh, before, uh, you were ever born. Okay. They going to tell, and which is a whole lie, but they going to, they going to, they can go so far back. Why? Because the demons that, that, that they work with on a continual basis day after day. Okay. These demons don't forget nothing. This is how they operate. So, when you take that right there, the thing that is going to scar them or the thing that in a sense scars them for the rest of their life is the fact that they came in contact with you. They had the experience of you and now they've lost control of you. Man, do you know how tormenting that is to them? Y'all, you know, see, a lot of times we are waiting on these bow-legged ducks to get to get theirs. But you don't understand that part of them getting what they put out there, part of them reaping what they sowed, is the fact that they were not able to maintain control over you. You made it out of the addiction ship, and now they left in that in that cesspool of nothingness and darkness. Because remember, you were the light. You were the light that shined in their lives. I don't care how many backdrop supplies they come up with. Listen, baby, it's never, ever going to be you. It's just not. It's just not. So when you look at that right there, 
And you're like, well, they seem to be doing fine. They're not. They're not. Look at how you're made. Look at how you're crafted. Look at look at what you brought to the table. And a lot of y'all, you didn't even bring something to the table. You were the table. And these, these empty bags of nothings came and had a seat at the king or the queen's table and weren't even prepared to even dine with you. Oh, I said it. Oh, I said it. Yes. Woo I said it. Yes. They weren't even prepared to dine with you. And so when you have an experience and it, you know, and it's just like this, when you have set your rear end, your bottom, okay, day after day after day on the soft buttery seats of a Rolls Royce, the leather, the buttery leather seats of a Rolls Royce, it's going to be real hard to go back to a, a Pinto. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be real hard to go back to a Pinto. Your whole mind, your whole, I mean, your everything about your psychological existence is going to be challenged to have to take that downgrade. I'm serious. This is what, and y'all say, well, you know, the narcissist need to get theirs. Listen, your departure already started it. You, how, how do you think, you know, and, and a lot of times we don't think about it like that because we, we have to learn to, to value us. See, the narcissists already know you value. They already know that. But see, the, the whole point of the matter is to make you think that you're not valued. They already know how valuable you are. But baby, come on, when you start to realize how valuable you are. Oh, that, listen, let me tell you something. That recycle pigeon is getting it. They getting it. They are getting it because everything that you did for them is cemented in their demonic minds. And just know that it's not just, it's, it's, it's the, it's not just what they're getting back, but it's the demonic activity in their mind. See, the demons don't leave them alone. They get harassed constantly. Oh, you got you. See, the demons tell them stuff. You know, they, it's, a, it's always a negative narrative going on in their minds. And see, when they lose control of you, that demon is mad. Because remember, the whole goal, mission and goal is to destroy you, which is the light. Okay? To destroy the light in you. Because narcissists are full of darkness, male or female. They're both the same. Matter of fact, the females are worse than the males. Okay? They are some whole, I'm telling you, they are some whole witches. Okay? They are demons on another level. I'm telling you, these ones right here will make you think about, you know how they said in the movie, you you want, they wanted the uh, uh, day they told the guy over there at the, at the donut shop. The one guy got beat up to my, woo, he got the, he said, they beat the brakes off of you, the donut shop owner. Yeah, that's what the, that, that female narcissist will make you want to go into that realm right there. Okay, do a Fred Flintstone or a caveman thing. You know where they drag the women? Yeah, that part right there. Okay. <laughs> ah, boy, the, listen, these crows with bows, I'm telling you, that's what they'll do. They, that's what they'll do. But see, you got to understand the value that lies in you. Then you will understand how bad they are getting it. That's why y'all see them destabilizing. That's why you see them, you, you see them all, you know, you, they disappear off of social media. Listen, your, your whole entire existence will stay cemented in their mind. Not to mention the fact that they don't like losing supply. They don't like losing supply. They don't like losing control. They don't like losing any of that. So when they when they have when they've lost pretty much the best thing that they've ever had, okay? And then not only that, they lost control of you. A lot of them lost contact with you. They that was a part of the supply that they lost. See, losing supply is not in their vocabulary. What do you mean, lose supply? See, this is why they want to always bring you back as friends. Family, I need y'all to hit that like button for me, please. You got to understand the inner workings of, of a narcissist and, and the, the tools that they use to manipulate you, okay? Memory, 
mind mastery. You know what I'm saying? Those types of things. And then when 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 what is being dealt to them by your your absence, your your basically your departure, they still got the memory, but they don't have the control anymore. Do you know how bad that messed them up? Oh, oh, do you mean to tell me you lost control? You lost control and you ended up losing that supply. Let me tell you something, that demonic memory that they have, the demon that supplies them with that is never going to let them forget that. Never going to let them for it ridicules them. It mocks them. It tells them how insignificant they are. Why do you think they are always angry and mad and upset? and shameful about everything. But on top of all of that demonic energy they got going, they got a nerve enough to be prideful. <laughs> For what? I'm telling you, these rhinos with bows wearing some leggings, they, listen, I'm telling you, this is what happens. So you think you were like, when, when they gonna get their revenge? Baby, their revenge started with you. Their revenge started with you. This will scar them for life. For life, they will never ever forget you. I don't care how I don't care how how short the relationship was. I don't care how long it was. They have demonic memory, and a demon is never going to let them forget anything. And if you know anything about demons, baby, demons don't forget nothing. Cause why? They've been around age old. They they've been around age old. So that's the, the those are the spirits that a narcissist carries. So family, listen, I want you to understand, baby, the narcissist is getting it five ways from Friday, five, five ways from Friday, they getting it. Family, y'all be safe out here. Y'all, y'all, listen, be good to yourselves. All right. Rest in the fact of knowing that the most high got all of this under control. He got it under control. The narcissist, they do it to themselves. You don't have to do anything to them. They do it to themselves. All right, family. So I love you all. You all be really safe out there. And I will see you all on the next video. And I will see you all healed at the top. Shalom, family. Peace.